Hi, my name is Henry Li from BlueHeronArts.com. Today I'm showing you some techniques of doing grape leaves. I got this request from a viewer on YouTube that uh, uh, she has trouble painting the leaves of a grape. So I'm going to, um, I asked her to send some, sam uh, some pictures that uh, she did. So I found some uh, common uh, problems maybe uh, you are facing. Uh, so I think everybody can do this, right? The problem is uh, the veins on the, on the leaf. Um, so see, when I paint, I roughly uh, do the shape of the leaves without definition. So in the beginning, uh, you don't need to be too precise, uh, like uh, to depict, depict the, the leaves. Uh, you can have a rough idea, you know, just uh, five strokes because there are five uh, tips on the grape leaf. Let me just give you a idea here. So roughly the leaf shape like this. So if you count, the, there should be five, something like that. And the veins are, uh, come, you know, with perspective in the painting. So uh, you should pay attention on the perspective. Not always paint the leaves like uh, like this in the, in the um, botanic books. So, for example, if this is a side view, you, you will put the main vein, uh, not in the middle of the uh, leaf, but uh, showing this is a side view. So you do only a, you know, half. If this is a front view, uh, you will do all the five, but uh, remember, uh, I always change direction when I define the leaves from the original sh uh, stroke. If I did, you know, like I did this one in vertical strokes like this, and I, uh, when I define the structure, I kind of twist a little bit so it will form uh, an end goal to the original stroke. They will make uh, the painting more interesting. Something like this. So you can redefine the leaves. This is another. So they always uh, have some leaves overlap or you pay more attention in the cluster, uh, in the group shape of the leaves. This one, you can, you can define uh, in various ways, you know, this way or that way or um, even more interesting way like, uh, like this way. You show some uh, folding or flipping, you know, to make it more complex. Um, by the way, if you want to do this kind of uh, style, you will separate the tones of the ink to make it uh, more uh, distinctive. So let me show you. <clears throat> Here is a, a new brush that we carry on our website that you might uh, consider. If you don't like the long bristle soft brush, this one will help because it comes with a, um, a shorter hair but a fat body. Uh, I replicated ancient brush after the Tang Dynasty style. You can see this uh, brush is uh, a short body soft brush. Uh, the advantage of this is uh, if uh, it, it doesn't come with the soft waist that uh, uh, it's difficult to control if you use a long bristle similar brush. Uh, let me show you. So I can use the side brush 
um, very solidly. You know, there's no soft, uh, weak waste. Let me do another uh, upward one. Okay, then I use uh, darker ink to contrast with the light. So you can you can paint the upper side, or the uh, front side in darker uh, tone, and the, the back side in lighter tone to con to create a contrast. Vary the directions. So use light ink first. The, usually, the first stroke determine the direction of the. Uh, leave the main uh, direction facing uh, which direction the left left or right uh, or up I try to create a strong contrast here then use a darker ink This is the, the idea um, to create contrast between two sides. And then um, you can use light, uh, sorry, dark ink to paint the veins. You can see the paper is very uh, absorbent and uh, uh, with a smearing effect. Uh, this is the fun of uh, Chinese brush painting. The paper is called uh, Xuan paper. This one is a single layer Xuan. So it's kind of uh, very absorbent and the smearing. So you need to wait for the right time to do the veins. Uh, not too dry, not, not too wet. But uh, smearing is very interesting. So don't be afraid of uh, that. Extend. Okay, also pay attention to the angle of uh, the, the veins that you know, are not parallel to each other. Uh, you can see this uh, is more closer to the front and then getting uh, more distant near the bottom and uh, you know, vary the directions, I mean so, uh, the angles. So not tear the don'ts. Don't paint all the veins like uh, like this in in the same angle. Uh, also, I have seen some student did the curve in the wrong way. So the curve should go in inward, not outward. Not like this. Okay, this is this is wrong. Uh, the correct way is this direction, okay. So this is correct, this is wrong. The brush I use for drawing the veins uh, is a, a black sable brush. It's a stiff brush. 
very uh, flexible. Okay. Another uh, point that you want to remember is not to uh, paint the veins or uh, too long. So you can have some part uh, extend. Uh, you can have some veins uh, longer than the base wash, but not all of them. If you have all the veins uh, like this, you know, it will be like a broken leaves. So you can wipe that, but um, you can have a little bit like uh, extend it out, that's fine, to, to be more interesting, you know. Um, the veins, let me see. Not all the uh, leaves come with the, this visible stain. So you can hide the stain in your painting. I hope it gives you some uh, hints. And uh, next I will do a complete painting again. So you can watch uh, how this uh, is used in the actual painting. Thank you for watching.